We're just past the one week mark for Halo Reach on MCC and PC. I hope you guys are enjoying it. It's been a really fun week, dude. I've been having a great time. I think I mentioned to you all some of the most fun since Titanfall 2, which by the way, if you have a PS4, it's time to get over there. I'm trying to get a video out here in the next few days, man. Those population numbers, that spike, oh, it's so dang cool. Now if just Xbox could uh, let that thing go with games with gold, that would be incredible, dude. So Reach on PC and MCC. We're at the first one week mark. Uh, Wednesdays are when playlist updates usually go live. So I'm very interested to see what they do to modify the playlist today. If it doesn't radically sort of change the weighting in the map pool and it stays pretty close to the same, I think you're gonna see a little bit of momentum, momentum shift. Um, I, I think that, I mean, the map weighting is an odd thing that I've talked about here the last week. I don't wanna belabor the point, but like this match, first time I ever got uncaged. Now. Uncaged is kind of a quirky map, but it is something that I fondly remember from the original Halo Reach, and it led to a super sick 2v4 match that we got here going in the background. I want to briefly talk about a few things today, the first of which is finding custom games. This question has been coming up routinely in the video comments, and instead of typing just a huge thread, here it is. It's not very intuitive, but you need to know the gamer tag of the player who has the file that you want in their file browser. How do you do that? Well, the community has put together a really big spreadsheet that chronicles all the different games within MCC. Granted, it's it's like if you're on Xbox, you've got access to those other games, but it has reach included in that spreadsheet. So let's say you wanna play Fat Kid or somebody was asking where I got Sanctuary uh, from the MLG variant. You look in that spreadsheet, control F for the map title or the game type title, and it will show you the gamer tag that has it in their file share. You then, from within MCC, either on PC or on the Xbox One, click your player card, click the button that says find player, type in the gamer tag of the particular person who has it in their file share, and there you go, that's where you can download things. Is that intuitive? No, is that how the experience should be on PC? Nah, I, I think that is a big flop in terms of usability because if you have not been playing MCC the last like year or two, I don't think that's gonna be something that's intuitive and might lead to some players falling off because they remembered, yo, I loved Jenga and I loved playing uh, Jump Rope. Where can I find those things? And instead of just being able to search Jump Rope or Jenga with a tag like you could in the original Halo Reach, you're left going, wow, well, that's absurd. Why do I need a third party spreadsheet? That kind of a deal. Customs browser could radically change this game for sure. And Halo 5 has a pretty good working one. So I don't know where it sits on the developer priority list, but that to me seems like an easy score, kind of a low hanging fruit to improve player sustainability. The question that also keeps coming up and that I wanna hammer here is, how long can the hype last BBK? The steam numbers are dropping BBK. And for me, I just want you guys to know, I'm so insanely surprised and excited at how well this launch went. This launch went infinitely better than I think people had expected it to. At least the people who've been grinding MCC or still playing it over the last couple of years, there was a lot of love, a lot of hype. Yeah, there's controversy. Yeah, there's frustrations with the aim assist stuff and the map pool. And there's plenty of things that need to change and evolve to retention, like to keep players coming back day in, day out. But in terms of this last week and how this launch could have gone, it went really well. And frankly, how long can the hype last? As long as you, the player, uh, want it to last. You know, I think players right now are very focused on playing the it game, the popular game, the game that really is driving a big community, lots of viewership on Twitch and their favorite personalities are playing those games. They want to be a part of a bigger community. I 100% get that. And it's really fun to be a part of something that's moving and evolving. I'm still playing a ton of Apex Legends. Season three is the most I've played Apex since it came out. And it's really fun to watch some of the big streamers and hear their thoughts about the changes and the updates. Like that's cool to be a part of something bigger. And as soon as it seems like the balloon is starting to deflate a little bit, I think players start jumping the bandwagon back to something else and don't boot a game up again until their favorite streamers or a big update or something like that comes out. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. But if you're enjoying Reach or if you're enjoying Halo MCC, just play the game. It's actually got a really rad community. It's not the biggest right now. It's a bit more tight knit and smaller at this point, but with you know the next year, honestly, I see it growing and evolving. I don't think people are gonna wanna play Reach daily until March, until CE, until whatever the next thing is, okay? And I actually think that's probably gonna lead to burnout, unless you're loving it, unless you're just die hard into Reach, like this is the greatest thing ever, dude. Um, 
Don't burn yourself out, dude. Don't grind reach into oblivion. Enjoy it. Explore different facets of the game. Nexus Mods is starting to grow quite a collection of some pretty creative and cool things over there that can be a good time sink. Play through the campaign. Try out some of the other aspects of the game. But if you're just going to grind socials 4v4 or 8s un until you're upset, you're going to probably leave Reach not happy, not thrilled, because people want this to be a sequel versus what it actually is, is Reach on PC. You know, I want it to be like a sequel. I want to see it have new content updates, a developer roadmap with all sorts of things that are going to keep player retention high. But I also understand this is not a new Halo title, right? I want that energy and effort going into Infinite to make Infinite the best game possible. You know, if you didn't really dig Halo 5, it's been four and a half years or whatever since like the last big content drop for an FPS Halo game. Yeah, Halo 5 got some awesome uh, ongoing updates, but like I said, four and a half years is a long time in between these mainline titles. And I think there's that emotion where all of us see Reach coming to PC and we're like, okay, now what are you gonna do 343 to make sure you keep that player list high? And I don't know if retention is all their biggest priority with Reach as much as it is trying to bring the rest of the collection to PC in the best way that they can. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense and you guys can relate with that because yeah, I wanna see new and original content and changes to the progression system and all these things that would keep me interested in Reach for maybe another three weeks. You know what I mean? I played this game to death back in the original days and it's not, it's not Halo 3, it's not Halo 2 Classic. It's not the sandbox that I want to pour another like 15 days or whatever into, you know what I mean? So I think it's going to be very curious to see what the next few months looks like. How much effort will they put into sustaining and retention or how much effort will go into preparing for the next thing coming to Halo PC, which is Combat Evolved. I'm curious to know also what you guys think about all of this. You know, how long will the hype last? How long are you going to stick around? That kind of a thing. I know for me, I've been playing MCC on and off for the last two years. And the thing that keeps it so fun is the fact that I, I don't burn out. It's not a game that I feel like I need to play every single day of the week and put time into to, to keep up. It's just something that I go to play with and to try and be a part of the community, to try and be a part of something bigger because I think really the next year is gonna be pretty epic for Halo with each of these little launches for PC and then hopefully Infinite is awesome when it comes out next holiday. Could be a good time, but don't burn yourself out. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the alarm bell so you don't miss the next upload. Follow me over on Twitter at BBK Dragoon. Have a good rest of your week and I will talk to you again very soon.